this video is very important in this we will learn x lookup with dynamic lookup range so what is this dynamic lookup range suppose this is my lookup range and i have to search the invoice amount against this invoice number in the dynamic way not the old fashion we are typing x lookup so these are my domain database and required lookup value so let's get into that generally the formula we type x lookup and then my invoice number and my lookup array is my this invoice number i will press f4 also for to freeze this and my return array is my invoice amount i just press f4 and bracket close so i am getting the invoice amount for only this cell 1918 but i rec also required uh, lookup value for all these invoices so generally what we will do after typing the formula we just copy paste to this cell but this is the old method we have to make it dynamic that it just enter in this cell and the my value also get the value for the how to do that just you have to just change only the, your lookup range here here i just want to search for only g4 instead of this just select this whole range for which you are required the value if you just press enter see the magic you get the all these results so if any new invoice number is added just here change the range just type f11 and you will get the all the result so it's like typing in the one cell and get the desired result in the another cell so even you in this case if you know i have to just manually change the range you can use the offset formula here to just define the range here suppose how to use the offset formula i have to just specify what this value range should be g11 so in this case i can use the offset formula i can type offset here my starting range i just asked in through this cell g3 and how many rows he has to move now here i have to use the formula of count if here count a so i will select the up to some range that maximum range this is the range he has to go and how many column i have to move i don't want to move any column so what should be the height height should be 1 and 1 so i will share the uh, you can refer all the offset function i will share in the description that how to use this offset so we will learn that now my i have entered the offset formula here. now this calculation now become dynamic i just press enter right now you doesn't make any changes but as soon as i add any new invoice here see my formula is automatic get updated oh wow 4339 so here i have added as if you see i have not added any formula here i have just added in the formula in this cell so i have dynamically enter the offset formula to make it more dynamic hope you like this video please comment in the chat box if you like this video thanks